So are we live? I don't know. I think we might be. <laughs> um, well, hi everybody. I'm Micah Dickerson. I'm the product manager for AutoCAD for Mac. Um, I'm based in San Francisco, but today I'm here in Baltimore with uh, a good friend, uh, Jim Lapierre. And Jim is a designer and IT manager for the Chesapeake Design Group. Um, we're actually in their offices right now. And um, has been a big proponent of AutoCAD for Mac uh, since its inception a few years ago, right? Mm -hmm. So, Jim, where are we? So we're in our uh, conference room here in Baltimore um, at Chesapeake Design Group Architects. Um, we're a full-service architecture firm based out of Baltimore, um, and we provide a full suite of architecture services. Right now, our uh, main focus is on a, um, we're helping a uh, national restaurant chain um, undergo a rebranding effort. So we're helping them from uh, all across the East Coast um, to kind of facilitate that. Cool, cool. And I don't know if everybody noticed, but we have a new microphone today. I feel a little bit like Larry King. So um, in continuing that fashion, we're going to ask more questions. Um, so what do you do here? Uh, so here I'm a designer and um, IT manager. So uh, mostly, you know, taking architectural plans, existing buildings that we have, and uh, bringing them up applying national standards um, so that they match what the, uh, the restaurant chain wants to do um, you know, on a national scale. Um, and then I also manage our mixed use environment. We use um, PCs and Macs in the same uh, same office at the same time. Yeah, it's uh, just kidding. It's uh, actually easier than it, than it, than it, uh, than it sounds. But um, no, we uh, so I manage that back and forth. And we I said we use about seventy five percent Macs and twenty five percent PCs to get our work done. Great. Well, I certainly like to hear the the majority being Mac because you know I'm a Mac guy. Um, how did you? get involved with Apple and being into Macs and being as knowledgeable as you are about all this stuff? Well, I've been uh, using AutoCAD for about 15 years and then um, I actually worked for Apple for two and a half years as a uh, genius and then as a business specialist. Um, so helping small businesses, you know, move over from PCs to Macs. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really where I picked up a lot of my, you know, working with small businesses, helping them overcome their, the challenges of kind of switching over into the Mac world. Um, and really getting used to that kind of uh, environment. So are Macs and Windows machines kind of equal partners here at CDG? Or? Uh, at CDG, yes. Um, I said we tend to favor the Mac side mm -hmm. only because the um, the day-to-day -day operations are just so much simpler, working with files and moving files around mm -hmm. and then you know emails, contacts, um, Word documents and things like mm -hmm. that. It's just so much easier on the Mac side, it seems. Um, automating things using uh, the built-in uh, programs and things like that. It's just so much easier to really run day-to-day -day with uh, on the Mac side. Yeah, that thing you were telling me about on the way up here this morning um, about the, the automator that you, the script that you wrote for the f uh, site photographs uh, mm -hmm. sounded really interesting. The maximizing and then uh, compressing the files and then building cal galleries out of them. It sounded really cool. Um, so Jim, what are your what are some of your favorite features about the AutoCAD for Mac product? Um, well, I can show you one of my favorite features actually. That'd be here. great. I think we have to click something to make that yeah. happen. Yeah, that one. Perfect. So let me show you here. Um, so obviously, uh, one of the things that I really like is you know a lot of people tend to use AutoCAD for Mac on a uh, on laptops. So that's what you know one of Apple's biggest sellers is their laptops. They're the more than half. Yeah, mm -hmm. the MacBook Pros and things like that. Mm -hmm. And they're wonderful except for screen real estate, especially on the th you know the 11 inch and the 13 inch uh, MacBook Airs and things like that. Um, so what I really like is when Autodesk came out with this, they've um, obviously right now, you know, I've got my drawing here, but I don't have a ton of uh, really real estate to kind of work with. I've got, you know, my toolbars and my windows and my command line and everything like that. And they've all kind of crowding the space. So really cool feature that you can only really do on the Mac. I can go over here uh, up to uh, tools and then over here to show palettes as icons. And what that does is it kind of collapses everything over here to the left side of the screen and then I can still access all my toolbars, the properties window and everything like that, everything that I really need to work with. Um, but they collapse and I get all my uh, screen real estate back and I can actually see my drawing. And dang, what a great set of elevations you got there. Who could have drawn those? I couldn't tell you, but they, <laughs> they definitely have some talent. Um, and then when I'm done, I can go back up to tools and under palettes and then just go back to, uh, you know, it brings everything right back to, uh, to where it was. Fantastic. Well, that's cool. Anything else you want to show us? Or? Um, like I said, that's one of my favorite features. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, there are things that working in the Mac interface um, that are just easier, things like cover flow, um, being able to, you know, scroll through all my documents and my CAD drawings and mm -hmm. seeing a preview of the... Uh, 
the documents before I actually have to open up AutoCAD and see if it's the right CAD file that I really need. Mm -hmm. um, those kind of features really help, uh, you know, just in day-to-day, -day, you know, the things you don't really think about when you're looking at overall features of products, things like, you know, just file management right. uh, that's so much easier on the Mac is just, it just makes it so much easier. So is that, is that, would you say, blah, 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 it, would you say that that's the primary difference between uh, using AutoCAD on a Mac versus Windows is just like file management, ease of use, or is there is there what other things do you see as being the major differences? Um, well, I mean, when they you know with AutoCAD for Mac, it's definitely a Mac product. So if you're um, one of the things that Mac tends to focus on instead of toolbars is really windows and palettes. Um, so you have your tool palettes and things like that, and they're usually small floating windows that you can move around and customize to how you have your screen set up. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people um, in our office work with uh, dual screens, so we have you know two things, on, you know different things on each monitor. And mm -hmm. We'll have um, you can have pretty much as much drawing real estate as you want on one side, and then move all your palettes and everything over onto the secondary monitor, so you can kind of you know clean your screen off. Mm -hmm. um, that's things you you know a little bit harder to do on the Mac side um, or on the PC side. It's not impossible, but it just it's a lot simpler and it's definitely more Mac like. Mm -hmm. um, using AutoCAD for Mac. And then I said that kind of stuff really takes advantage of the screen real estate and uh, what you're really working on. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I'm thrilled to hear you say that because I know our design team put a lot of work into making it look and feel like you were on a Mac. And we, we intentionally made some decisions to kind of go away from the Windows paradigm. Um, and so I'm glad, I'm glad to hear you say that. I, I, actually, when I talk to users, um, most of them are very happy that, that, it is, that it does feel like they're working on a Mac. Um, so, you know, I think you've told me in the past you definitely recommend um, this product to other people. Um, why, why would you recommend um, AutoCAD for Mac versus uh, maybe Windows or something like that? Like I said, honestly, it comes down to the operating system. I find the operating system much more stable, um, much easier to work in. With all the companies that I worked with um, when I was working for Apple and all the ones that were coming over, you know, small companies, 10, 15, 20 people, um, I never had a company go back. They were always moving from mm. PC to Mac, and they, mm -hmm. I very, I don't think I ever ran into an instance where a company came, you know, was saying, you know, we tried this, we tried the Macs, it just didn't work for us, so we're going back so to PC. Back, yeah. um, it just didn't happen, it just happen yeah. you know, so. Yeah, my, my experience has been similar. So do you guys, are you guys using LT or the full AutoCAD uh, for Mac here? Well, we looked, we looked in the LT. Um, mm -hmm. It's a, a, obviously it's, you know, the deployment's easier because it's available on the Mac App Store, mm -hmm. and it does you know almost everything that the full version does. But there are a few key features that we really use. We use a lot of Lisp uh, routines and mm -hmm. a lot of uh, we do a fair amount of three D work, mm -hmm. which is only available in the full version. So that's the version that we ended up going with here. Yeah, that, that's definitely the main differentiator between the two. The customization thing as well, but mm -hmm. um, with LT being primarily focused on the two D drafting world and. Um, and like you said, it is available on the Apple App Store. Um, it's also available on the Autodesk eStore. And then there's a couple other um, like volume retailers like Amazon.com and uh, CDW and a couple others, I think, that, that sell it as well. Mm -hmm. um, wondering, do you guys use AutoCAD WS, the, the mobile? Um, well, for anybody out there who doesn't know what WS is, um, it's our free mobile and web-based version of AutoCAD. It's um, slightly less functional. It's free. Um, and... Um, I lost my place. Um, oh, you can you can. It's at AutoCADWS.com if you want to uh, check it out. It's also on the App Store, so for your phone or uh, for your Mac, that's in both places. Um, and I'm sorry, back to my question. So, do you guys use WS? Yeah, we um, we do. It's uh, we found it a really really great tool, especially we have you know four or five iPads that go out in the field and. Um, being able to pull up the AutoCAD, you know, using AutoCAD WS, you can pull up the actual DWG file. It's, you don't have to worry about making a PDF or DWF and then trying to get it out there to the people out in the field. And if it's the latest one or whatever, you're actually opening up the same AutoCAD DWG file. Mm -hmm. um, and then with um, using things like 360 and things like that, you can actually make changes in the field um, and they reflect it back in the office, which is a huge time saver and it doesn't it sounds you know just like another feature but mm -hmm. when you're out in the field and you know contractors built something that wasn't quite the same way on the drawings and you're looking at a door that you know and you're on the phone with somebody and you say oh well the door that we put here is actually three foot closer to this side well what do you mean this side you know it, well it's closer to the beam you know column a five well you can actually just click on the door and move it in the mm -hmm. uh, autocad ws and they see it and like they happen see, yeah. right mm -hmm. in real time back at the office so it's a huge time saver it's pretty cool yeah I've, I'm, I've, i haven't actually been in a professional situation where i've been able to use it because um, that came after i was in that world but 
um, yeah, I've seen a lot of my customers doing it and they're just, mm -hmm. you know, blown away by how awesome it is. I have a, a customer who's built an entire workflow around, they, they even have meetings called WS Reviews. Anyway, oh. it's become a big part of a lot of organizations. Um, you mentioned a second ago, uh, 360. Mm -hmm. um, so for anybody out there that, that isn't familiar with Autodesk 360, uh, it's a suite of uh, cloud services and storage, not just storage, um, that uh, we offer. Uh, you can see that at autodesk360.com. Um, and I mean, you guys are using that obviously if you're using mm -hmm. WS to, to store files, it's all kind of bound together in a big happy cloud. Um, <clears throat> anything else you want to tell us about AutoCAD for Mac that um, you feel like people should would benefit from? No, uh, like I said, the biggest thing um, is give it a try. I mean, uh, there's, you know, people, you know, they hear different things and they're, you know, they're not sure about it or like I said, they've, you know, I've, I see people with uh, you know laptops and Mac computers all the time, and then you know I ask them, oh, it's like, oh yeah, I'm using AutoCAD for PC, and I'm like, why? And, you know, AutoCAD for Mac is out there; it's great, um, and you know you can give it a try. It's free. You can go down to the website and download the 30-day trial and give it a shot, and it you know opens all the same files. There's no interoperability issues like Mac and PC or anything like that. It's the same DWG files that you open on your PC, and it works. You know, 99% of it is the exact same way that you're used, you've been used to working with AutoCAD for the past 30 years. That's great. Well, um, it looks like we have a question um, that's coming in, uh, and it's about the differences between printing on LT 2013 Mac, um, if you're coming from the PC version. What I'll say about plotting and printing is this. Um, we, we, we made a real effort to make printing feel like Mac printing in this product, so we used the native Mac print driver. Um, or in print dialogue system, um, it looks a lot different uh, on a Mac than it does on a PC for sure. And there are some things you, you kind of have to get used to. Um, almost all the settings that are available on Windows are available in, in uh, Mac. It's just a matter of how you access them that's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so we're not allowed to put as many doodads on the print dialogue uh, in Mac as we are in Windows. So we have to approach it a little bit differently. Um, the uh, I think I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, that answers the question. Um, there's another one. What recommendations? I can say one thing about the printing thing real quick is um, I found that coming uh, on the PC side, we didn't tend to use page setups as often as, you know, obviously they're a wonderful tool and we didn't use them quite as often on the uh, PC side. You tend to use previous plot a lot um, on the PC side, but I found that, you know, building a kind of a library of page setups on the Mac side definitely streamlines the process. It makes it a lot easier to really print and kind of stream through things. And then using like the batch publish and batch plotting uh, on the AutoCAD for Mac really helps kind of streamline the process. So if you haven't, you know, if you don't have page setups, you don't use page setups, it's definitely something to look into if you're having any issues with, uh, you know, sp the speed of printing on the Mac versus using the PC side. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we have one more question too, um, and it's about uh, recommendations for learning uh, to get started on AutoCAD for Mac, if uh, this particular person is coming from AutoCAD 9, um, wow, so that's that's a way back. Um, so there are going to be a lot of differences. I hope, I hope they mean 2009. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, even if not, um, one of the things that you can do to get started is visit our YouTube channel, and we'll um, we'll send a link out uh, to the to the to the person who asked that question um, to get started on that, mm -hmm. um, and then we can uh, we can be in further communication uh, as your needs uh, evolve from there. Do we have any other questions uh, coming in from online? Uh, online question gatherer? Um, no more questions. Okay, so we just want to um, also point out that uh, we do have forums available for AutoCAD for Mac. Um, in the Autodesk forums, there's a whole section devoted to Mac users. Mm -hmm. um, and I'd actually like to see more activity in there um, as our user base is growing. Mm -hmm. Um, so please take a look there. Um, you may find the answers to any other questions that you might have there. And if not, post your questions and an AutoCAD uh, for Mac expert uh, can pop in there and, and maybe help you out with those. Um, I know I'm going to be a little bit more active in the forums coming up pretty soon. So if uh, I said if you guys have questions, if I can be of any help, you know, reach out to me. I'm uh, available on the forums and I'll be... Uh, definitely posting questions and there are answers and things like that. So keep an eye out. You see, Jim, this is why we like you. Thank <laughs> you. Um, so yeah, uh, give it a shot. Um, download. There's a free trial out there on, at Autodesk.com. Um, please feel free to give us feedback. We're, we're this is a constantly evolving product, and uh, we're really proud of where we've gotten in such a short period of time. I mean, compared to AutoCAD for Windows, we're really young still. This is still mm -hmm. in an in, in its infancy. Um, 
And um, so, I mean, thanks for joining us and um, be sure to tune in to the AutoCAD Facebook page for future facecasts and uh, to keep up with uh, what's going on with AutoCAD for Mac. And I, I think we have a Windows product too, yeah, are they yeah. tell me? Yeah, they, I think we have updates for that as well, but, um, but AutoCAD for Mac for sure. So anyway, uh, thanks, for, thanks for joining us today. Yeah. Bye now.